We're back. Yeah, that's right, dude. We're freaking back. And not only are we back, but we're back in a big way. That's right. Perhaps the biggest way. If you're Fear hungry, and. For, yeah, if you're hungry for more Minecrafter content, you are not gonna get it today. No, boys we and are girls. we like the you never let them know your next move. No, we're switching. We it. go to Amsterdam, we hang out with the Minecrafters, that's right. we come back to Los Angeles, baby, and we got we got sex workers, uh extraordinaire, uh female entrepreneur, legends. Uh, you know, dissidents of the, the Russian government, all sorts of crazy things That's are right. happening. And then we have me and Will Neff. Do either of you play That's Minecraft? Right. That's going to hurt our metrics. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay. They don't play Minecraft. They We're, both play Minecraft. They I said thought, <laughs> I thought they played Minecraft. I'm so sorry, everybody. I know you were juiced for this next, uh, you know, wave of content creators that we're going to have on here yeah, on yeah. fear and That's right. We're back, dude. We're back. We're in a big way. And, uh, for the second episode, I thought, you know, we should have uh, one of uh, Will and I's favorite uh, uh, adult actresses uh, <laughs> on uh, up and coming. Can I say up and coming? Is that appropriate? I'm going to look at Nadia a lot for this. I'm, yeah. Is it appropriate? Does, I mean, it's a double it's entendre. Super appropriate. Because, well, the reason why I'm looking at you as well is yeah. because uh, we have Eva Elfie here with yeah. us, okay, yeah, alongside hello, Nadia. Uh, from Pussy Riot, I want you guys to introduce yourselves uh, as well, because I'm I did a horrible job. I'm a bad person at this. Like I'm not good at my <laughs> no, job. I actually loved how you introduced us. Okay, well, it sounded like you have the whole crowd in your studio. Yeah, yeah. well, that's that's you've been here before. You know how it is. This we just is, have, this is how we just have our uh, our tech guy Billy Rave Brains over there, fresh yeah. off Hard Summer. Yeah, he's a little. He's a little. <laughs> he showed okay. up today to set up the podcast with glitter still on his face. Mm-hmm. Appropriate. True. Good thing, good thing we don't pay him. Um, <laughs> so he is, I have him enslaved and trapped in my basement. That's right. Um, so that's fine. But yeah, um, Eva uh, might have a little bit of a language block every now and right. then. Because um, she is fresh off the boat, if you will. Uh, right out of Russia, I guess, right? Yeah. Did you come yeah. here from Russia or did you, you were traveling the world? I'm traveling a lot and I was in Thailand, Bali, Singapore. Goddamn. And Dubai. You're yeah, on a journey. Yeah. 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 And Were you doing a Fortnite event with Ms. Kiff in Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No. Okay. Well, regardless, this is Eva's first ever English interview that yeah, she's ever to done. To be honest, it's today's my first podcast in English and fucking nervous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't be nervous. We're terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we're, we're bad. We're bad at this. Uh, so do not worry about that. Okay. But I do have a lot of questions for both of you guys. So okay. I think it'll be fun. But you know, anytime uh, there is any sort of like anything that's lost in translation, you know, uh, you can ask Nadia as well. I hope Nadia will help me today. I think, <laughs> yeah. And, and Nadia is a wonderful uh, second time comer into the Hasanabi broadcast, but also we're not doing that right now. We're going to be doing that in a little bit. Sure. And uh, you might recognize her from that or from being arrested or many different things that she has done in Russia. Or her art. Or her art as well. Yeah. I think I've been arrested 100 times or something. There you go. She just loves it. She loves getting arrested. It's just. The horny jail is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of like that this is kind of like a russian prison but in a content form yeah, yeah i would say yeah. so we're, we're that's what we're doing so um i have an important question can americans order horny juice yeah we're looking at Is prepared. that your merchandise? Yes. Horny gel? Yeah, horny gel. Yo, pull that shit up, Marsh. Yeah, let's, nice. let's take a look. Let's take like, let's take a look at the horny jail merch. Yeah. Um that's cool. So you have you have merchandise. All right. That's 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 fire. When did you start doing uh porn? Mm, and how? 4 years ago. 4 years ago. Yep. And Is that when we found out about her? Oh, for sure. It was so strange. I'm uh uh like um looking for some job like an actress and a model and i found a porn yep. <laughs> yeah uh elfieshop.com but um we didn't realize uh, yet a merch it will be at august soon uh, oh my god we looked up elfieshop.com Elfie and the first yes. thing that comes up is definitely not your <laughs> it says children's clothes i don't think that's what we're talking about <laughs> 
That's I'm looking Dude, at that would be such a flex though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that is jail crazy. Ba- baby onesies. Yeah, no, definitely not. That's not we're yeah, no. Okay. All right. That's Never mind. All right, we're not pulling up the merch. So four years ago, uh, you're looking to become an actress. What what happened? Is it like a backroom casting couch type situation? You go in and they're like, "Привет, как дела? Как тебя зовут?" I found one. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you'll 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 learn a few things what, about what? your best friend. Now, today. I need, now I need translator. What the what the, did he just say? Nah, just said, "What's up? What's going on? How are you doing?" Really? Yeah. That sounded way dirtier than that. No, I was just, it was not. Okay. I don't know the more. I don't know dirty Russian word. Like I know like da 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 vai da vai. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Faster. Yeah. Ah. Right? Isn't it da vai? Da vai, da vai. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I know that? Find out later in the episode. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that. Um. But anyway, I feel like you had a video that went super viral. Am I remembering that correctly? You mm-hmm. had one specific. Which video was that again? I weren't you in like a chairlift or something? Am I crazy? Am I there was one where, where she was like cucking uh, her boyfriend while her boyfriend is like Googling something, but that's not the one. I think the one. No, that's the one Hassan liked. Though. No, no. That was like that. That one popped off too, but like. Um, Hassan had me eat a breakfast burrito in front of him today. Yeah, that's he my new fetish. We're gonna, often. we're gonna talk about that in a second as well. That's, that's, my, that's my new fetish is like making people eat things that I can't eat because yeah. I'm like losing weight. But. Um, I think it was it was just like the basic like friend girlfriend stuff that mm. she did. I think yeah. you had shorter yeah. hair back then, yeah. um, and uh, that one blew up a little bit. But that wasn't like you've had a gradual success. You've had like uh, you know you've been you've been on the up and up. Yeah, but it was a little bit strange. And we make a studio porns in Europe. And uh, my boyfriend said me that why are we doing that? Let's do it shoot together on uh, camera. And we make very Russian video, like uh, with uh, interior in Russia, very old. Uh, I don't know how to say in English. Yeah, carpet. Uh, carpet yep, in the yep, wall. yep, yep. And. Uh, uh, I'm just Carpet masturbation for yeah. him, and that's all. <laughs> and it, uh, this video was really popular in Pornhub. It uh, was our first video, like 10 millions. And yep. Did you make a lot of money off that, the first video ever? Like, did Because did, from what I understand, Pornhub actually monetizes pretty well. Yep, it's good. Like YouTube. How much money did you make, if you don't mind me asking, from your first ever porn video? Mm, like uh, $3,000. That's pretty good. Yeah. For one video, yes, the so first video is good. Yeah. Because uh, if you're porn actress in Europe and you're working, you can mm, you can get only five hundred dollars for one video. Jesus. Yikes. Yeah. It's not fun. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's not. Yeah. That's not a lot of. Yeah. That's. And so you video. sell your rights to, and you sell your rights to the production company for five hundred dollars. Jeez. Yeah. Canceled. If you and do you don't even girl girl own. videos, it's only yeah. three hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's uh, like one hundred. Okay, those rates are bad. Those are not yep. good rates, I don't think. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um. So, but you took matters in your own hands and you started, you know, uh, doing it on your own, and you blew up, and that's great. You've uh, traveled the world. Mm-hmm. I want to ask. Um. Well, I mean, Nadia, you've done some some sex work stuff. Mm-hmm. What yeah, was What was your journey like into sex work? I have only fans. Um, well, it was. Um, it started from Dorian Lecture. We were hanging with Dorian Lecture, and um, we were chatting about word of three le- like word consists of three letters, starts on N, finishes on T. That I'm not allowed uh. to say in the studio. Oh, you can say it. <laughs> Wait, what? Nut? NFT. NFT. <laughs> oh, NFT. <laughs> oh, so oh, went what? nut. That was wrong. That was not what I was thinking of at all. I was not even thinking of NFT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, loads. I was talking about my recent, I'll, I'll hold DL for that. recent okay. NFT sales, and I was like, oh, I just made half a mil in this uh, video that I sold. And Dorian was like, yeah, but, um, you know, I, I made and so um on um just you know like not even full nudes it's just you know some like slightly erotic content and i was like yeah. oh that's that's interesting why didn't it do both and then i started on the fans and um, my experience was great because 
I mean, I've heard about people not having not a fantastic experience, but I think it depends on your audience. And yeah. because I built my audience for I mean, for ages, for years. Can you find the best way for adult? Uh, yeah, I mean, because um, you, you have you have more control. You have more control. Why you don't have OnlyFans? Why don't Tell I have OnlyFans? That's a great question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is a question on everybody's mind. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Like, <laughs> I, this is my first question I asked you when we were hanging in real yeah, life. Yeah, you're I, so big and I so am, handsome. Why? I am. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. N U T Hassan. Where's the N U T S? So the reason why I don't have it is because I uh, I grew up very fat. I have a lot of like body dysmorphia and I just, I would not be able to, to consistently post content on there. Like it would just break my brain. So I do, I, I, I respect people who are able to do it. Like I, I think it's wild that uh, people are able to do it. I can't do it. Like but I, I think just, the, the fact that OnlyFans um, gives you freedom to do pretty much everything you want. Yeah. You know, so you can film yourself, you can tune yourself. Yeah, no, they've, they've <laughs> tried to get me to do it before. Like I, they? You, you, uh, <laughs> there's a, the, OnlyFans itself, I think, like had like the owners of OnlyFans, yeah. I think, like they Leo? had another project potentially. Like they've reached out to my management before to try to be like, <laughs> OnlyFans is not just about porn. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I but have, that's the cool stuff. I have, I have like one thing, like a really good thing to say about OnlyFans. So when we're collecting money for Ukraine yeah. in the beginning of the war, OnlyFans donated 500 ETH, which is like was almost $2 million at the time. What is it now? Probably not that. Um, well, 100, I mean, like, I'm freaking terrible. Uh, Quick mass. 700 uh, is the cost of Ethereum right now, and it's 500. But maybe you know the situation. So only fans uh, blocked all pages for Russian girls, and it was a big problem for Russian adults performers. And mm. uh, yeah, yeah, many yeah, girls yeah. lost uh, pages. And uh, that, Yeah, that sucks. That's yeah. not great. I mean, they should... Like, I'm a, I'm an advocate for the, for the Russian people. I mean, you guys are both Russian. Yep. Um, I'm from Siberia. Siberia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Siberian. 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 Yeah. Okay. They're from the frozen yeah. north. That's crazy. <laughs> How does that work? That's like. Do you know that? With uh, real beer, you know. What? <laughs> With real beer. Bear. Bear. Yeah. 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 We should. I uh, <laughs> They're like okay, Russian we Canadians. Make a shoot for the bear in yeah. the studio. <laughs> you want to do a photo shoot with a bear? They're, yeah, porn yeah. photo shoot or. Something of that nature. I think like that's I gonna would, be next step. I'd be interested in. That's gonna be next step after carpet in the wall. Like a <laughs> like a <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, you could do like a bear outfit. You know what I mean? Like wear a bear outfit but naked. I don't know. I was actually I'm, gonna. I'm, I'm thinking this about was a good person for that. Yeah. This was another yeah. You could thing kick off thinking. your OnlyFans career as a bear. As a bear, oh, yeah. That, that's no one would know. They that's could only what, identify you by your nips. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> That's what my thing would be. I'd be like a, in a fursuit, <laughs> uh, but a bear fursuit. I think that's very famous political commentary. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you will be very popular for men. <laughs> yeah. on oh, no, yeah. for sure. I mean, yeah. I'm, yeah. yes, but uh, maybe, probably not. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too uh, self-conscious. I would never be able to do it. Yeah. Um, I've seen you arch your back before. We were going to, <laughs> we were going to, actually, I was going to suggest that we suggest uh, uh porn director style concepts mm. later as well so we'll oh, get to that dude we'll, i am i, I know i knew you were gonna be I, so I into that the stanley kubrick of porn yeah oh for sure yeah oh very tasteful yeah very tasteful stuff we got a dude, lot of we have artistic ready vision. here's my idea for you're porn. so humble here's my, listen <laughs> i know what i'm good at i can't read i can do this here's my idea for porn have you guys seen marriage story with daniel driver and i've heard you talk about this before. okay go on so we have a couple at a table and they're arguing, they're fighting, they're reaching the end of their marriage, right? It's painful, it's emotional. In the background, totally apropos of nothing, slightly out of focus, <laughs> two people fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We watched the entirety of the argument, tears, yeah. joy, love. But then, but then in the back, there's something for everybody. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. It's like, it's like a treat for you. Maybe your girlfriend wanted to watch Marriage Story and you, do, you didn't want to watch <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Now you can watch Eva Elfie, uh, you know, have sex with her boyfriend in the window uh, in the yes. other. As two yeah. Juilliard trained actors go yeah. through the end of a relationship. So the Ju Juilliard trained of, of dick. So, yeah. you know, just yeah. same. Um, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, I have a good story for you guys. Do you know who William Defoe is, the actor? He was, okay, apparently the legend is he was supposed to do a full penetration scene in a movie called Antichrist. Antichrist. Yeah. 
And the legend is, he was like, of course I'll do it. And he pulled his penis out and it was so obnoxiously huge that the director was like, we can't use that. Okay, I have, I have a correction on this. It's mm. not actually a full penetration scene. It was a scene where the dick is gushing blood. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. sorry, but go on. Yes. But what was the problem? The problem was too that his, his penis was too huge. Gargantuan. And it was going to be distracting. To, like, it had to penetrate or it had to just... No, 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 no. They, apparently no, only... No, no, no. He, he pulls it out for a scene. And in that scene, I believe his dick is supposed to be like spraying blood or yeah. gushing blood. And director Lars Van Trier looked at Willem Dafoe's penis and said, this is distracting for my art house picture. So yeah. he had to use a, st a stunt penis. A cock double. I was thinking he's radical. Yeah. He, okay. Lars. He there's... Not he's good. a coward. He's a coward yeah. for not yeah, giving us he compromised the real art. the real Willem <laughs> Dafoe cock. Art. I don't um, mind the big penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's actually a question. We we have a we have a bunch of questions that I'm sure uh you get all the time as women, uh, across the board, regardless, right? Mm -hmm. And also especially uh as, as sex workers as well. And I wanted to rattle a couple off, but this is a good segue into that. Does size matter? On um, the way here, I watched your video on that topic. The video was great. Yeah, I don't think so. That's a, I think that's a better when you use some toys and you talk with your partner and mm. you know what uh, she likes, he likes, and uh, it's... Mm. You're a size queen. I like how dicks look. So when they're super tiny, it's mm. just not super interesting to me. Mm. You're never like, that's a fascinatingly small penis. <laughs> um, Visually I, compelling. Yeah. I never saw it. Um, I mean, like, I, 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 like, it never happened with me in real life. So I'm just trying to fuck someone. They have like super small penis. I don't think it's that um, mm, happens that often. I had a sex with small penis. And Where are we talk how small are we talking? Like micro or like this? That's that's a small penis. That's a small penis. Okay. She's like, that's how wide it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, the, the thickness, the girth, it's so tiny. <laughs> what sizes do you have, guys? Oh, I have a, good I question. Have, I have a very pretty seven-inch penis. He is a very nice one. Yeah. Seven-inch is what? Uh, how many kilometers is it? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't know that. I can't do the conversion. I have. Oh, I have a similar size penis. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm very fond of it. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very, I, I'm lucky though, because I'm not, oh, this is a great size, yeah. I'm like a normal sized human. So my seven inch penis on my frame looks huge. He's built like Shaquille O'Neal and on him, his seven inch penis doesn't look as great. I think it's still, it's a great penis. It's still, it's a great penis. I've had no complaints. Right. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm like, I'm like monster truck tires on a Prius. <laughs> Have we seen each other's penis? Yes, we yeah, have yeah. seen each other's penis. He has a he has a penis tip like a I, I Darth Vader. My, I pull my penis out a lot. He has a he has a penis like a like a Darth Vader helmet. I have Erection a theory. penis? Uh, like in the shower, you like erect what? penises? Yeah. I don't think I've I've, I don't think we've ever no, seen each you don't see, penis. No, you don't no. see each other's erect penis. No, that's gay. Uh, I have this that's theory gay, though. That's gay. When you have when you have when you have a best friend, you don't know them. And you can't trust until them. Until you see their cock. Until you see their penis. You have to mm. see their cock. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, True. it's like one of these. It's like a, it's like a. Yeah. <laughs> it's a handshake, yeah. but with our cock. Hey, nice dick. How do I yeah. become friends with you guys? Listen. <laughs> 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 it's not just the penis showing. There's a lot of phases that lead up Yes, to but the penis showing is like the, the, the stamp. It's the stamp of approval. It's like basically. the culmination I mean, of friendship. What are you doing yeah. later after the stream? We are going to be live streaming, which is yep. not, we will not be able to show our penises to you guys if that's no. what you want to see on the live stream. I want to be friends with you. This yeah. Is yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Maybe. This is my second idea for a pornography. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, we're doing, okay. So we're doing our best friendship, uh, active ritual. And then you guys walk in and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> Two straight guys are showing each other their penis. Yeah. Attractive not Russian gay. girl makes them feel very nervous. Yeah. Not they gay. both yeah. blush. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, Lars von Trier yeah, yeah. walks in. Um, there's another, okay, there's another fun penis story for you guys. Uh, so in Euphoria, are you guys familiar with Euphoria? It's an HBO show about teenagers played by like yeah. fucking 35-year-old people. Yeah. Uh, even though we live in the forest. What? Yeah. <laughs> we are familiar even though we live in the forest. Yeah. yeah. They have so, Euphoria well, I don't know, Siberia. she just looked at me like, she doesn't know. Do you know what Euphoria is? Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, perfect. I haven't. So that's why I expect people not to know either. Um, but apparently on the show, uh, there's Marsh a is lot on of, euphoria. If there you are see his of, makeup. <laughs> yeah. You do look like you're on euphoria. Marsh does look like he's on euphoria right now. But uh, in the show, there's a lot of like dick shots, right? There's a lot of shots where, where dicks are out. And apparently on the show, for all those dick shots, they used doubles. Mm -hmm. One of the actors had like a, like a nice one. Right, nice like a dick, like a fake penis, mm. and from what I've heard, and this is some tea for you guys, his real penis is much smaller than oh. the dick double that they use on the show. Oh. So now the entire world thinks this man has a whopper. Yeah, but he actually doesn't have a whopper. So it's it's disappointing. Apparently, I'm not gonna name names. I I think that's one of the worst things that can happen. To that you. is so bad. If yeah. you get a reputation as a fat dick dude. And then you go back to your life and it's just a constant disappointment. Yeah. That's you're just, awful. you're, it's a sequence of L's that you're delivering. I would yourself. rather have the word on the street be that I have a small penis and then like exceed those expectations. I don't know. I don't know if that's at that point. I feel like just having it out is the best thing that can happen. <laughs> just you know what pull I mean? it out. To no. Cause like, a press like, conference. Cause like <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yeah, this is the real meat. And then pfft, Put it on the table, or or maybe that made a noise. or maybe or, well in the in the, in the yeah. circumstance that we were talking about, it's more like a <laughs> like a beep. anyway. I have um, another question. Are you circumcised? Yes. Yes. Do you I'm, like I'm Muslim. It? Oh, I'm no. My mm. I love it. I hate my dick it. is built for speed. Um, uh, I hate bison. it. Ah, uh, yeah. Be I, I, think it's, I think it's so <laughs> barbaric. It? I think it's so barbaric. Because, I mean, I think it's mutilation. It's not. It's not ideal. I no. hate it. I hate it. Oh, you it. think it's I mutilation? So I do think. I yeah. agree. I'm. I'm. A, I'm an intactivist. Really? Listen. Yeah, I, I, I go to the rallies. I'm gonna be we honest. have clubs. I'm gonna be real. I have a very attractive penis. I, I like the way my penis looks. I love the way my a penis looks as well. Like, it's very proportionate. It's built for speed. Do I love. Sure? I love the way my dick looks as well. However. I mean, I, I, I just think it's not humane practice to cut penises. Mm. So, I mean, I don't mind when they're already cut because, like, what people can do about it. You know, mm. Mm. I think nothing. the grass is always greener. Yeah. What about you? But, but then again, I've I never heard. Cut. Why? Mm. You prefer circumcised or not circumcised? I prefer cut penis. It's like, uh, okay. it's very... Nature head. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're yeah. in yeah. Score one for us. It yeah. Hey, so hey, what's up? Fuck you guys. Okay. See, I'm dude. There's something about a nice circumcised penis. It just, I, it looks fast. <laughs> He's built for speed. He's ready. Here's my argument. I've seen botched circumcisions. Well, okay. Well, I don't know. I went to that. a boarding school, so I saw a lot of penises. I don't. I. I I've never seen a botched circumcision. I saw like half on half. But on. but Manuel Ferrer, for example, he has like a. He's he's not circumcised. Friend of the show, Manuel sure. Ferrara. Are you yep. guys familiar? Have great you ever penis. had sex with him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, people say he's great. Um, he's a good dude. Yeah. Uh, love the guy. So he has a fat one. Yeah, he does. But also, he's not circumcised, but also his, like, foreskin is, like, gripping his shit. So that one is, like, a situation where, like, it might even be better if he got oh. circumcised. Mm -hmm. that's a circulation. Thing. No, that's a thing. Like, apparently, you can have, like, a foreskin that's too small for your for your hog. Mm -hmm. Um, however, the <laughs> counter I was going to, because sure. uh, I am, I am a famous, that's too big for your hog. I Can am, the other side of that? I am a famous <laughs> intactivist, like a, <laughs> like a little brother wearing his big sister's tube top. It's just yeah. like his entire body. It, it does look like that, but I am a famous intactivist. Sure. And, uh, what, one thing I will always argue is that one, we did not consent. No. That's important. Two, yes. two, um, I am of the mindset that if you're not circumcised, I have this idea in my head. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is what goes on in intactivist circles. This is what they claim is that like we have lost sensitivity because our shit's just rubbing up against fabric from day yeah, one. No, exactly. Whereas, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll take that. The foreskin, on the other no, hand, protects. Yeah. Listen, my penis has got a job to do. Well, mm -hmm. uh, in my experience, it, it's absolutely true. It's um, the the head of penis is so much more sensitive if they're not circumcised. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine the pleasures yeah, that we are missing out my, on? And so no, when I suck, I don't dick, worry about they, that. They get so much more. I uh, listen. I get where I'm going. I'm a hedonist. You know they're, what I mean? They're moaning and stuff, and but, I love that. And, and when you suck circumcised penis, okay, it's wait, just wait, hold like, on. Oh, I, that I'm is still, true. Wait, what do you mean? I'm still moaning. <laughs> don't, don't misunderstand this. I still no, very much. I'm completely love. straight faced. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Very good. Is that? Is I that think I enjoy like, what's hmm. happening. <laughs> Never. I'm not even thinking about how no, pleasurable like, this would be if I had like my, my foreskin. I like how my penis is a little battle hearted. Ah, uh, he's go, he's going in there you, with you a got, mission. You, you got punish penis. Like, yeah, yeah. Punish. He's got like he a, fucking, a little. Eye uh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Okay, here's, uh, here's another question. Sure. Should we talk about vaginas and yeah. clits? Because we talk a lot, a lot about yeah. penises. Sure, of course. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Do you have a question for us yeah, about this? Because we asked you about the penises. If you want, yeah, 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 yeah. we can tell you about the vaginas. Hmm. I'm entering an era where I appreciate fat pussies more. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What do you like mean? Like by What's it's a fat a whole pussy? It's it's a whole category mm -hmm. where like they're just like a. Big pussy. What's like, like are you talking thigh. about the lips? You can touch it like this. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Too. Yes. <laughs> well, not the lips. You, it's 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 a whole Marsh, pull that up for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like uh you're talking about like the cheeks of the pussy. Like, yeah. not the lips. Yeah. I, I get it. Like this, this yeah, yeah. thing. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Arby's We Own the Meats? Not as big. Not as big into that. No. Okay. I, I have no I'm just I'm of the mindset that I'm excited. When I see a pussy, so mm. I'm like, great, thank you. Yeah. Every time I see it, I'm like, that's keep doing you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to be all up in that. Great. Um, okay, guys, I have one more question for you. Sure. Uh, tits or ass? Mm. Tits or ass? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to answer for me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a, he's a tit I'm day one. He's, he's a big tit man. Listen, but like, I'm uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, like no okay well some of the girls who no. some of the girls that he shares with me uh where he's like look at this i i think the Th breasts their are, are too big they're too big i think the breasts are fascinating i like large breasts but i also like like the anatomy of a shapely breast mm. there's so much retro that goes set. into a great yeah a retro tit prim looking stargazer the, yeah. the teardrop yeah shape. like yeah. perky looking upwards you know mm -hmm. pointing up at the sky yeah um, present party included. I am a, uh, I, it's just so whack to say this, but like, I always have been a faceman, I guess. But as far as like, <laughs> if we're going to, <laughs> no, I know it's so, I know it's whack. I know, I know, I know. No, I'm like aware. It. I always spend minute. Cause I, when I deal with those kind of people, what, what do you mean? I mean, I have, I have some shapes, but I think my face always wins. So I always attract people who are face, face men. Yeah. I'm, I'm face a face woman. man. Everyone's a face person though. No, but the like face is how you ground. No, no, I'm no. saying like That's I'm crazy. talking like if someone has a nice face, but face like no titties, no ass, like nice face, I'm in it. I'm there. I like it. Mm. Mm. I'm I'm fine with it. Um, but as far as like if we're gonna reduce okay. it down to tits yeah. versus ass, I would say I would have to say probably tits. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm becoming in my old age though? What? An abs man. I An, love boobs. Okay, I love we're, oh now you're boobs, opening. Uh... Now you're expanding. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just do that. You I can't can. like. Hang abs, me out the dry. Abs are huge right now. Abs are big. Muscle abs Girl are. Summer. We are we're big advocates for Muscle Girl Summer. You guys have seen any of these Muscle Girls? Pull up Lean Beef Patty on here. Let's 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 show them. Pull up Gentle and Meowry for me, please. Okay, that's Marsh, our friend. That up for me. That's our friend. I like more natural teats and not too big and they like touch. Oh it's yeah, yeah, so yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. No, we're we're fans of we're fans of the uh, oh natural <laughs> ourselves here. Uh, I'm I'm an advocate. Like I I don't <laughs> yeah. I I look. If it makes you feel confident, do you, obviously. But, like, if you ask me, and some people have in the past. Um, yeah. If this you ask me, I'm always going to tell you, like, don't get a job. Don't get a tit job. Don't get a boob job. It I would literally agree. is just, like, I, A cups are better than, mm -hmm. I think, in my personal experience. But, uh, you know, unless it makes you Love happy. This, this is what we're talking Whatever about when we, we say muscle. the screen, I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> this is a muscle girl. I'm yeah. big on this. I call this a shield maiden. Yeah. Someone, uh, there was a, there was a meme going around on the internet that, uh, said that like, if you like lean beef patty, like you're gay. And I was like, I'm gay as fuck, Dude. I guess. No, I just, I want yeah. her to beat me up a little bit. Yeah, no, she's jacked. Muscle girl summer is what we're, uh, what we're, we're, we're advocating for. Cassandra, you want to share how do you lose weight? How do I lose weight? Mm -hmm. Um, by not eating. Yeah. <laughs> I'm controlling my calories. I'm the opposite. Yeah. I'm, I'm what's I'm called. I'm keto for months. Keto. keto yeah. Doesn't that just rock your stomach yeah. though? No, I feel good. Really? Yeah. And definitely on the way to that shape. Mm. I have a different, so I, I practice something called exercise bulimia basically where I, I do like a thousand plus calories on an elliptical wow. every day. I, yeah. did, I didn't eat sugar around six months. 
It's you haven't had sugar in six months. Yes. That's crazy. It's, yes, it was difficult. Like, uh, not sugar, like cakes, but anywhere sugars. Yes, and there's a bread and uh, salt. you got to be so low energy. Yeah. And fruits? Mm, sometimes. Do you yeah. just bang coffee? No. no you don't coffee. drink coffee? That's crazy. I okay. didn't consu- consume any sugar for... Um, long time ago after y'all, y'all are wild I, well I actually sugar. i do not consume sugar right now so uh if i happen to eat a lot of berries uh i feel like i'm on mm. cocaine <laughs> i'm so energized i'm like really? what the fuck is happening my sick. heart beats it's great or you could just like eat sugar and then do cocaine but that's just i don't know that's just a separate suggestion i mean that's that's wild yeah. it's more expensive yeah. billy rave could tell us about that yeah well no <laughs> We're not Ma- slandering Marsh, can, you, can you pull that up for us? Yeah. Can, can you, you pull, pull up, up berries and cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, but yeah, workout wise, like, or staying in shape, uh, I gained a lot of weight over the pandemic. Yeah. And um, we both, so in LA during the pandemic, they shut down gyms. Mm-hmm. They, they discouraged like running in public. And so I started doing this thing where I lived in West Hollywood, which is the gayest area in the mm-hmm. world. And there would be like a Taj to Mecca at night where the gays and I would go to a, a public park and work out on like a jungle gym. So they he was rollerblading. Everywhere. Yeah, I, I would rollerblade there. Yeah, I yeah. love rollerblades. Rollerblade yeah. got my ass popping, but what they they barricaded the jungle gyms, mm-hmm. so we couldn't even use the jungle gyms. That's anymore. just homophobic. Yeah, it was it was. Have it was you terrible. ever have you ever been arrested by trying to work out? <laughs> no, but that'd be no. awesome. No, but it is it is outright homophobia to yeah. to, to bar the gays in WeHo from working out. Like what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It's like I a was, religious uh, practice. Let them have this. Let dude. the gays work out. Yeah. I was almost arrested for just trying to hike. Really? The pandemic. Uh-huh. Where in America? Yeah, it was in Los Angeles. In the United. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know. I didn't. Really I communi- was hiking through I a hospital. Com- <laughs> communist, communist America, folks. <laughs> you you heard it here first. Where were you hiking? I was Cherry Canyon, La Cunada. You were not allowed wow. to be on a fucking out and about forest uh, hike. That's Dude, during yeah. the pandemic, it was cr- it was wild. Well, I hate hiking, so I just I've never even I, I've almost been arrested for for having my dog uh, out and off a leash for uh, I got yeah. a bench warrant one time yeah. for it. Like it was yeah. fucking insane. I I my dog is he was he passed away uh, two years ago, but he used to be very uh, he was not the most athletic guy. He's big pit bull. And we he would was hike. athletic. He just wasn't coordinated. Yeah, he no. He was like an <laughs> offensive lineman. Yeah, no. He would he would just gas himself out. Basically, yeah. he would wear himself out. So uh, <laughs> after Asama I would do this thing with his dog, it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. He'd throw the ball one time, and Fish would bring back the ball. And then the next thirty times, he would just do the fake throw, and Fish would yeah. He would just Which go back. Great. I mean, he he was he was yeah. exercising. You know yeah. what I mean? So your and dog I, was I, named Fish. Yeah. I, I would I would exercise I have a him a lot. Whose uh, who's name is Wolf? Wolf. Mm. Wolf. Okay. Little Wolf, actually. Volchok. Yeah. Volchok. Mm-hmm. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Wolf. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So what happened is I went. Uh, I took him off leash and I put him on my back because mm-hmm. I was carrying him. He's a big dog, and and a forest ranger like rolled up in a pickup truck and was like, "You're getting a citation for that." I was like, "What the fuck? What do you mean?" I'm like. Eh. You can't have your dog off leash. I'm like, I'm carrying the fucking yeah. dog. Wow. Like, calm down. So, you know, America, not so That's different fair. than communist China, is it? That's yeah. fish. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. That's my, that's my dog story. Uh, but getting back. I got back, a dog story. Well, you got a dog story? Oh, you do yeah, have a dog story. Go ahead. Tell your dog story. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> this happened yesterday. Yeah, this happened yesterday. Oh, oh yeah. I just unplugged my mic. Marsh, am I good? Okay. Yeah, am I good? So, so I, I'm a big advocate for psilocybin mushrooms. I think psilocybin mushrooms are like a life changer, and uh, I dealt with manic depressive, you know, all sorts of stuff, uh, ADHD, and mushrooms have always helped me. So I, I always have mushrooms on hand. And yesterday I went to breakfast, and my dog broke out of the room that we had him in, and then broke into a bag, like ripped a bag open, and ate two grams of psilocybin oh. mushrooms. And I came back and I saw the packaging on the floor and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I called poison control. They're like, this happens all the time. There's not much chocolate in it, so he's going to be fine. But he's, he's going he's gonna to trip balls. And I was like, okay. So for the whole day, I was like trip sitting. My 
my multi poo as he like experienced ego death. Yeah. He was crazy. I oh, know. Well, he wasn't crazy, was he? but he made some faces where he was like, <laughs> "What the fuck is going on?" Like he'd play for like thirty seconds, <laughs> and then he'd be like. Oh, my God, my God. Um, Apparently and, he's really chill now. Yeah, chill. Like, yeah, Listening man. to music. Yeah. The one thing he did that I've he started never listened to Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, every little thing. <laughs> the one thing that he did that I've never seen a dog do. We were like hanging out, and he was laying down, and he made eye contact with me, and he just shit while he was <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Who are you? <laughs> yeah. So after like six hours of trip sitting, he was he was fine. He was in his mind. He was like, "Yeah, isn't that kind yeah, of fucked up? Shit. You got to clean this bitch." Oh, man, check this looking out. right at it, looking right at yes. you, like, "Yeah." There's one point where I swear, like. I th- you know when you're so high and you swear that you can understand other languages? I think for the first time he understood <laughs> what I was saying to him in his mushroom-addled mind, and I just saw his, and like... And he shit himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, he's like, holy fuck, I get what this idiot is saying. Oh, no. I'm, he was I'm, like... Yeah, he, I'm owned he, by an asshole. Yeah, yeah he, he looked at you and went, who's the real master? You or me in this situation? <laughs> you're picking up my shit, bitch. But that was that was so stressful. That's cool story, Harley is like... Yeah. like Tiny little fucking yeah, he's a menace. He's, he is a menace. <laughs> Bought a packs a packs a big punch. He's just constantly jumping up and down shit. Yeah, yeah. He's two grams. The most two grams is a lot. You yeah. you do treat your dog like yeah, a like prince. a white woman. He's a like prince. you are you are the white woman dog. I owner. wake up and I like make him eggs. Yeah. Like, are your dog as big or small? He's like this big. Mm. Like he goes on hikes wow. all the time. He goes and on yet hike he a day. still has a lot of energy because he's constantly fucking walking this thing. So like he's just like what's sugar. up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, what's up? Are we not going on a hike? Like sometimes we'll leave him here, and he's just like pissed off. He's like, what? What do, yeah, what do you he mean? Gets I'm not super coming. Angry. He, he gets yeah. an edge. Yeah, he he will. <laughs> he will. He, he gets edgy with it. Maybe he's mellowed out now now with the mushrooms, but I love him. Yeah, he's definitely a different man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a vegan now, yeah, he, which he's is really like, cool. It's weird. He's yeah. like listening to the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, DMT. Like, yeah. you got any of those yeah. in your bag? Might 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 uh, break into that next time, yeah, you know? I come back and instead of him breaking into the trash, it's him just pulling up YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, no, sorry. I was just like looking up things that I wanted to ask. Okay. Um so you guys get obviously common questions. We talked about does size matter? Yeah. You said no. You said yes, kind of. Mostly for um, for just visual pleasure because I don't really think it mm. matters that yeah. much. Well, I think men are into the visual pleasure of big penises too. Straight men. You can't watch a porn with a tiny penis. You can't. You can't do that. Once you experience a Danny D video. Yeah, you gotta see. You gotta nice see a big one. Ripe hog. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like it's not. It's not cutting it. Some visual about it. Everyone's a little gay. Everyone's a little, <laughs> just a little bit. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that. The aesthetics of a nice, <laughs> yeah. girthy You just dog. can't, like, you, you watch a porn, you're not going to, you know. Yeah. What's he going to do with that? <laughs> yeah, what, what, are you, what, what are you doing? What are you doing with that one? And, I mean, well, porn actually does uh, create unrealistic standards for men, sure. for sure. Because, like, a lot of the penises that uh, I'm sure you've worked with, like, they're not monsters, right? Mm-hmm. They're, like... I mean, we're going to do an inch centimeter conversion here a little bit. But kilometers. Like, from what I understand, um, <laughs> kilometers, yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> from what I understand, like, with seven inches is like uh, a, a uh, like a larger, on the larger end, what is it? What would it be? Centimeter wise? Uh, 18. 18. 18, yeah. Wow, like, that would makes be my a, dick sound huge. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm I'm going centimeters for the rest of my yeah. life. No people wonder you, we people can... ask you well, how big is penis? Eighteen. Yeah. Dude, don't even elaborate. Don't say inches or anything. System Eighteen fucking rules, dude. Um, of, and, but like everyone assumes that it's like massive. Everyone assumes that like every penis in porn is like ten inches, which yeah. would be like what like twenty five mm. centimeters or something like yeah. that. Um, when that's not the case, right? And ha- have you have you ever hooked up with someone with like particularly large penis, or you're like that's too big? No, because usually I make porn only with my husband. Mm. Oh, and okay. that's all, yes. Um, and with other girls. Mm. Never mind. But, you know, it's a... I saw a little bit secret. Uh, when you see porn, it's not a real huge because uh, cameramen use special lines. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And, and S so big and uh, your teeth so yeah. big and your dick. Yeah. Yeah. Industry Bigger. secrets. Well, wide I, lens. You know, you're, I taking a nice, you're taking a nice penis photo. Oh, you're taking a nice penis <laughs> shot. You got to use that wide angle That's, Dude, I do the same thing when I take dick pics. Yeah. You want to know what my secret is? Have you ever heard of a coronita? No. You know what a, coro- you know what a corona is? 
like the that. alcoholic beverage, like a bottle. Lettuce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they make something called a Coronita, which is the same bottle. Tiny. It's but it's the size. Yeah. And I have that in the background with like mm. a dollhouse. Mm. And that way my penis looks oh, like. Fuck. Yeah, what I, 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 same, same, but with a mini Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah, mini yeah. Diet Coke can. I put it next to it. Like it's like towering over it. It's like it. a Godzilla a film. But with All my of a sudden <laughs> they're like, what the fuck? This yeah. dude's got like multiple Coke cans. It's, it's great. I have a few people cowering in fear. Yeah. <laughs> in, the, wow. in the background. Oh no! <laughs> one, man from, <laughs> one man from Mexico has uh, one of the big cock like this. No. Yeah. Forty-eight centimeters. Yep. Who is that this? From, from Mexico. Yeah. But I love what he it's, said. It's told me. about him. You, you can you, Google. It's you a, were like, he doesn't fuck. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's like not it's not usable. Forty-eight it, it's centimeters. Not, yeah. no, no, it's at that point it becomes like a like a disability. Like it's a, a vestigial disability. appendage at that point. Yeah, it's that's so like it's difficult. Yeah, like I feel like after you hit a certain point in in size and girth, like it's just you know it's a tail. It, it diminishing returns. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're, I'd you're still not, take it though. You would. You would <laughs> you take would it. Too. I would not take you it. Would you wouldn't take it. Where Dude, would you I, take it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, no shot. I like, I, uh, I, I, I can't. I, there's nothing going in there. You know what I mean? No. Like I've. Uh, the, sometimes you wipe your butt, and you're like, yeah, that was that was a good wipe. But that's it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've had my ass eaten. Maximum. That's it. Sure. I, I don't. I'm terrified of sticking things in there. In your butt? Yeah. yeah. Have you done? Have you stuck things in your butt? I've done butt stuff, but I don't stuff in the butt feels a little on. I get like a kind of shock. First of all, you're not prepared. You can't do butt stuff unless you prepare for it. You have to prepare yeah. for it. You know what you I mean? You should be horny. This That's, is first. What's up? You should be horny. Yeah. This is first. Yeah. But um, I feel like a lot of men, they do under underestimate their butt. And it's not necessary that you use <laughs> I'm it. I'm constantly <laughs> underestimating my butt. But, um, yeah, it's a big I, problem. I've, seen, I've experienced men who, who love me um, yeah. sticking my fingers up their butt and they... Yeah. Really? There is can a G I, spot. Can I, can I there is a G spot in there. What we both suffer from? What? We have man butt. What is that? You and I are both burly guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I don't want anybody. We don't. We don't have nice butts to go digging around. No, in. that's what, what I'm saying. Burly? It's like hairy. I, I even oh, though yeah, I shave it's, it. It's burly. I shave it. I I because uh, the wiping. It's a working <laughs> man's yeah. butt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So doctors stick fingers up your butt and it's yeah. good for your yeah. Um, yeah. sexual yeah. performance. Oh. Yeah, they, they check your prostate. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah. yeah. Um, so regardless, though, I just, I, I am not, like, I'm not prepared for it. I don't want to put anyone through that. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I'm not ready for it. I don't think anyone should be ready for it with me in particular. You know it what I mean? Time. I just. Um, I mean, so with, with one person, it took around six months of gentle preparation for, for him to be. Six like, months. Oh, you prepped his ass. You were devoted. You were, you were like, I'm going to be all up in that. You were committed to getting I'm in his get guts. I'm going to get up in your guts. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love that. Um, yeah. Did you peg I, him at I the end of the six months? Man. I love fucking men. I love fucking men, yeah. <laughs> what about you? Have you ever fucked a man? <laughs> Have you? No? You've never no. done it? Would you do no. it? Mm, I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. Um, Carpets on the walls. The thing is, so, uh, okay, big, big secret about me. I have, like, one of the biggest penis envies in the whole entire world. Sure. I really wish I had a penis. Like, I, like, I dream about it. Sometimes I wake up and I check, and it's still not there. Um, mm. So that's why, for me, penetrating men is um, is nice. That's, we are not getting this video monetized. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. Like, you know the what? entire... That's sad though because we haven't talked about anything we're not being lewd this is all well you described in detail <laughs> like what kind of pornographic scene you would have behind adam driver's you know because I, th that's art that's so. true avant-garde for sure I, I think I, that's that is interesting though that we still have this like sex is still just considered like baseline lewd, even though everyone does it, right? Like we came around the corner on weed. Everybody's okay with weed. You can talk about weed and not get fucking, oh, that's so dangerous. But sex is still like, oh my God. Yeah, there's still a stigma associated with it because of how puritanical people are. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people in positions of power, like, you know, they, they didn't necessarily have like sexual, healthy sexual experiences. So they, yeah. you just got to keep, Taking that L, you know, yeah. they just keep bringing that uh, with them to the next generation. That stigma yeah. continues. And also, in a lot of instances, it's a, 
you know, we, we do kind of get off on like what we can uh, uh, tell women to do and not mm. to do. So it does, it, it does have like a patriarchal misogynistic approach to like, uh, to sexuality. And, and you see it like men who have sex with a lot of women are still considered, uh, uh to, to be, you know, hustlers and, and yeah. like Andrew Tate. You know, but, do you guys well, know who Andrew Tate is? We're not Should we? Gonna, no, we're not even going to open well, that. I, yeah, I was, do we're. We can we can pull up like what he looks like. You might have seen him on TikTok if you have a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, but he, this he's just like a British dude. He he operates uh he operates like a webcam a business, but like it's very. It's like he fucks a lot. Why well, do we talk about him? No, then? he actually says he doesn't uh, doesn't even like having sex with women. He's just a massive misogynist. Yeah. And, oh, okay. Um, he's uh, popping off on TikTok uh, a lot uh, recently. Oh. I I debated him on. There's there's kind of like an epidemic of young men. Who are like falling into the thought pattern of like misogyny, like mm. like old school misogyny. Yeah. Uh, how old is he? Oh. What? How He's like thirty five or thirty six yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. He lives in Romania, uh, and he has like a bunch of casinos. He operates like a webcam business, which he like openly states he started by like grooming young women into like dating him, and then he's like, yeah, do the webcam thing. Um, very very sus shit. Not great uh, at all. Yeah. And, uh, and also he just like, he has a legion of young men who, uh, follow every word he says because it's just repeating the pattern of like, uh, old school misogynistic shit. Like yeah. uh, you own women. My girlfriend is my property. If she were to do only fans, I take 100% of her revenue because like, that's mine. Oh fuck. That's yeah. cute. Yeah. I, it, it seems like he watched to Borat too many times and yeah. Yeah. He got kicked in and the took head it seriously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was a kickbox guy, so he might have been just hit uh, a little too much. No, but I've, I've met. Uh, I'm not really. Um, I mean, really famous and uh, how to say, um, like seemingly liberated people. Sure. But they would try. It like, really surprised me with um, their um, their concept about OnlyFans and their girlfriends. They would be yeah. just like, "This is." not really appropriate and also you're scamming them because you know you have um you know you also have a manager so yeah. you're you're basically just lying to them and i was just like mm, i don't know i mean like i think like mostly people who engage in on the fence they know what's up um so i don't think that there is a deceit here and also i don't really understand why it makes guys um uncomfortable if their partners engage in on the fans activity yeah well i yeah. i think only fans is is fascinating to me right because I, I think the disconnect for a lot of people on like why only fans has exploded is i think there is a parasocial element to only fans that is not pr like present in traditional porn right yes in traditional porn it's very voyeuristic mm -hmm. i've fired up i find a video that that appeals to me visually and i watch that maybe there's a plot line maybe there's something i can immerse myself in whereas only fans like there is a cultivated relationship between you and the yeah. performer and i think that is like a, a different element of human sexuality that has to be fulfilled right especially in, in an age where communi communication technology is so ubiquitous but human human interaction is so limited i think this is like a new kind of step in in sex work where like it is that kind of like old school almost like but it's not a new step like you were about to come to right, that conclusion. It, it, it's like a, it's like a full circle. It's like that old yeah. school, like interpersonal, like almost like human touch. Yeah. Like you you're exist, offering companionship you're, yeah, over the exist, internet yeah. to people. Real, I see you, even though like 50% of the people I know on OnlyFans outsource that interaction <laughs> to Bangladesh. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But also like I've seen the shit that people write on uh, friends of mine and they're like OnlyFans. Like I feel like you would not be able to like no human being is equipped to be able to deal with that, like that level of horny. So it does make sense to outsource it to someone. Yeah. Even if it's a, even if it's a woman somewhere else, you know what I mean? Or a man, yeah. uh, you, you kind of have to mediate that relationship. Otherwise like you'll go fucking insane. Yeah. You were yeah. the one who expo exposed me to Turkish horny. Oh, well yes. Turkish <laughs> you know, horny. on fans like real sex, you can see real girls real boys and without makeup and yeah. normal position for sex and not like studio porn because studio porn it's not an, an, you know, i agree real. with that that's why yeah. we like yeah. we like check pickup i'd like check pickup porn because uh, yeah. i or or more amateur stuff in general because yeah. like i feel like people are more into it and and that's i think that's part of the reason why like boyfriend girlfriend uh, stuff pops off uh, a lot mm -hmm. 
as well because it seems more real. It's like a, it's yeah. like someone actually coming, uh, which is usually uh, you know something that you can pick up on mm-hmm. rather than people who are just Do like. Do you have sport favorite uh, couples on Pornhub? Do I have favorite couples? Yeah. Not really. No, I mean I don't. I love Lia Lulu. Oh, Lia Lulu, yeah, they're yes. great. I've, I've I've met them at uh, I think it was like the Pornhub Awards. Yeah, uh, Pornhub Awards. Yeah. I met too. Uh, something interesting that happened to me. What? When we were in the UK. Mm-hmm. I had like a subconscious effect where every time I got in one of their taxis, I got horny <laughs> because of fake taxis. <laughs> because of fake taxis. And I didn't know that all their cabs looked like that. Mm-hmm. And I would get in one and I'd be like. Yeah. Nice. Turned on. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey. Where are you fucking going, man? <laughs> you going to eat? You are a free ride, then. You gonna yeah. suck my knob, love? Oh no, oh. my fucking Apple Pay is not working. If you don't have the quids, you're gonna need to suck me off, bruv. <laughs> the worst part is my card wasn't working, and I thought I was gonna have to fuck my way out of that. Yeah. Situation. You have. <laughs> Sometimes you you gotta fuck your way out of a corner. I know how this yeah. works. Get that knob out. <laughs> is that what you, <laughs> you get ready? You're like, all right, <laughs> all right. I mean, Shake both of these. Down. Son of a yeah, bitch. Exactly. Your dick's going to evaporate by the end of this, sir. <laughs> I have a question. So sure. when, when you open Pornhub, uh, what, what do you type there? Oh. I am such a, a bad browser. I literally just go for uh, like whatever is popping. No, that's bullshit. No, that's mainstream, crazy. mainstream, open up like eight tabs. Sometimes I'll go it's for not bad. Yes. Sometimes I'll go for uh, specific porn stars. Like I'll, I'll if I if I'm in the mood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, our our old friend Raylo Black. Before like I was a big big fan of Raylo Black. I would look her, uh, her stuff up. I've looked your stuff up before. Um, but uh, other than that, it's just like whatever is on the. I'll the get main. spicy. Or check pickup prawn, like I've said. Milking table, glory hole, gangbang. Oh, you like yeah. you like glory hole. Oh, I like glory hole is popular. Yeah, glory hole is amazing. <laughs> glory Last hole. Last time I prefer pictures. You know, like hentai. Yeah, hentai. Yeah, hentai. You like hentai? Not video. Like you see picture and you can read text and yeah, it's good. That's interesting. This is <laughs> you're the second. Well, we, I, I had Janelyn Miari and Peach Jars on, and they were talking about how they like tentacle shit, too. They like to get all their I, whole stuff. I'm not tentacles. a big monster fucker, but I, I, like I get hentai. Mm-hmm. I like hentai because the plot lines are insane. No, I just like, I can't get They're into insane. it. They're insane. I need more vanilla stuff in hentai. Uh, like, I feel like, first of all, I uh, hate... Dude, there's a hentai I read. It was the most... Dude, it was a woman who was trying to, like, pay the rent for her husband they were about to get married she was ashamed of it she did a gangbang they're all wearing masks mask comes off one of them is her husband no oh dude i was like this is okay that's great but that's good hentai like i would like that all the hentai i see is like pretty uh it's just it's not tame it's like insane usually it's always like weird shit like when i but i don't know like the specific website to go to Mm. to get the hentai like the good shit i guess yeah because uh, that's what people keep telling me. Like, there is good hentai out there. But everything I see, like, the thing that frustrates me about hentai is that, um, first of all, if the artistic style I'm not into, if the drawings I'm not into, sure. I'm not going to be able to come to that. That's what true. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and in a lot of circumstances, I feel like, first of all, the women, like, they're just... Like these are titties that will yeah, suffocate they, you, which, they, I, which is why you yeah. like. They so. break the they break the li- limit of science. Yeah, you got like the other women, thing. You got like I'm, women that are walking into the room with their titties yeah. first. Like tit, tit like, is in for like thirty seconds before the woman enters. I like the visual aesthetic of cum, and no one comes harder than hentai's. That's true. It's I don't like. like that. It's like That's a wave. Uh, what yeah. do you like in porn? I know that uh, one of popular opinions that uh, men's like porn because uh, women in porn very horny and she ready to fuck everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I like, like it? that. Yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, I like also that. like the indifference of fucking in some porns. Mm-hmm. There's something about like what, like the one with like, the, like, no, smoking like, a cigarette. Like a girl's playing like a video game and like horny like fiend comes in and he's like <laughs> she's, she's <laughs> and she's cute. like oh go ahead I'm just gonna finish my fucking game. like <laughs> there's something about that level of indifference to sex that's very erotic to mm. me. 
Mm, interesting. Because no, I, maybe I, I, like, I feel I like, like that the, horny little gremlin. Sometimes. No, I, I like I like when like uh, I like when someone is horny, like a like a nympho. You know oh, what I mean? That's yeah. definitely something. Maybe it's super basic. I yeah. guess my porn taste is like very vanilla and very basic, <laughs> but you know, that's just it is what it is. Speaking I love of vanilla, nymphomaniac. I mean, I, oh yeah, yeah. That's not necessarily getting horny, but it, it inspires me a lot in my sexual life. Yeah. Damn. Speaking of vanilla, let's talk about sexual positions real quick. Because, okay. so, I, I used to date a sex worker, uh, Janice Griffith, like, way back in the day. And uh, one thing that I always had thought before that uh, experience was that, like, you know, oh, porn stars are, like, really into crazy stuff. And this is, like, I have limited experience, obviously, with this. But, like, I've met a lot of uh, sex workers. And one thing that I have seen that stood out to me specifically is, like, a lot of people don't do all like super kinky, super freaky shit in their personal life. Yeah. And I was wondering if that's something that uh, is consistent with you guys as well. Like, well, do you like really she crazy? spent half a year getting a man's ass ready. Yeah, we know now <laughs> that you're, but like when you're, like what's your, what's your favorite position? For example. Position in sex, you mean? Yes. Uh, I love doggy style. Yeah. It's my, one is my favorite cowgirl. Mm. And I'm one is the one happiness girl because I can uh, get orgasm in every position. Happiness girl? Yeah. What is happiness girl? <laughs> Sam, we don't know what happiness girl is. <laughs> I mean, what is going on? Самая сч... ну, как бы счастливая девушка, что я могу кончить в любой позе. She says she's a lucky girl because she can come in any yes, position. Yes, I can come in every position. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, got it. I thought happiness girl was a position. Yeah, I thought it was a position <laughs> that I was lacking I was for my repertoire. Like, Marsh looked this shit up yeah. Yeah. right now. <laughs> Billy Ray Brains, yeah. are you on this? Are you writing this down? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, so you're you just like all positions. What about you? Do you have a specific a favorite one or anything like that? Mm, no, it's just I mean like all usual suspects, like you know five mm -hmm. usual ones. But uh, well, I do not normally come with um, through sex. I mean like through through penetrative sex. Yeah. So yeah. then I always grab my vibrator oh, and yeah. then finish with that. Yeah. With help. Yeah. Of someone were just by myself. I love making blowjob. It makes me horny. I fucking Rough. love making blowjobs. Yeah. Our yeah. hand jobs are fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're both like, nah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh, no, I, I agree. I this is, <laughs> I love receiving blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, it pretty can make tight. me it can make me actually more horny to do mm -hmm. do a hand job. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I agree. Is that I'm that so level wet. of control? A lot of women say it's like the, the control mm. where like you like have direct like ownership of that guy's yes. soul. Yeah, I will good. do, I will literally like write down my social security number. <laughs> you can make me do anything in that moment. If my, if my dick is in your mouth, I will do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CIA mind control tag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, okay, yeah. I, oh. You know what position I was big on? I, I grew up watching wrestling. So I always thought that like you need to have a signature <laughs> sex position. So I was big on putting a girl on my shoulders and oh. eating pussy like this. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's it. That's that, a like good the position. The electric chair drop. I for me, my signature would one hundred percent be bajakomza uh, in Turkish. But oh. that's, but <laughs> eating no, bone it's, marrow. It's like, it's like missionary, but like just like legs on uh, uh, legs on your shoulders. Well, how do you uh, say that again? I love that one. Bajak omza. That's what, what I. Mean? It in just Turkish. means literally legs on shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Turkish, this okay. Hey, baby, you ready for some legs on shoulder? This is a good segue into what I was going to describe. Uh, what I was going to talk about. Um, you guys are both Russian. Yeah. Uh, Siberian. So you yeah. have, I'm sure. Siberia is not entirely Russian. So like Siberians have like really weird sense of belonging mm. inside of like, a bigger, bigger picture Russia. And by the way, we could um, end up under criminal case for talking shit like that in Russia because there is a criminal article for separatism. So mm. if you say that Siberia is not really part of Russia, mm. but I don't care. I have so many criminal cases. This is fine. <laughs> I feel one. weird segueing back into no. what do you think about Turkish Wait, men? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Uh, so do you know that? Uh, like, have you seen Siberia on a map? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know so, what like shape dick. it has? What is the shape? Of uh, it's kind look of it up. Look it up. Amorphous. Write Siberia dick. No. Siberia dick, yeah. Don't write dick. I don't think we can show that. <laughs> Just write Siberia. That's Siberia is what you wrote. No, no, no. <laughs> You're Siberia shape. Oh! Yeah, yeah. You see? That's a dick. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let on, me the, on the right, yeah, the green yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click that. And it has dick, come. Dick. 
<laughs> Wait, what? So, um, I'm, I'm from, I'm from I, the head of the dick. This is, <laughs> oh, oh, it's a oh my God. Oh my God. I'm That's balls. crazy. Like yeah. <laughs> so w what's up? You guys are from the balls or the cock? <laughs> <laughs> you're from the shaft or the tip? And it's coming too. Wait, I am from, for, from, from the top. So you're from the frozen motherfucking part. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I was like, at some point of my life, I was saying like, nobody can um, inspire me or like, surprise me with their dick because I'm from the dick. Yeah. <laughs> that you have to spend four hours on the plane to get from one side to another. Mm. Do you have super short days? Yeah, in Siberia? Super, super fucking, I mean, not everywhere. But, uh, Siberia is huge. I'm born in Omsk. It's a very sunny city. Sunny every day, like it's in Because here. it's in the balls. Yeah. 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 yeah that balls, would make yeah. me go yeah, insane. Yeah. 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 I would, we, when we went to Europe uh, recently, um, as you can see on the last episode when we were in Amsterdam, um, mm -hmm. the sun would go down at 10 p.m. and it yeah. freaked me the fuck out because here in Los Angeles, <laughs> the sun sets at like a normal hour at eight in the summer. And that's what I'm used to. So I can't even comprehend a world in which like there's like three hours of, of nighttime. I would go insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it. it's even worse when you don't ha don't see sun for three months in a row. That Polar would be winter. even worse. Yeah. You're right. And like negative thirty degree temperatures. Um, minus forty five Celsius. Duh. Yeah. yeah. Very cold. That's I crazy. hate forty five below I freezing. Cold. I hate yeah. cold. That's just that's not. That's cool. why they have the carpets on the wall. Car is not working <laughs> usually, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's So what do you do in that it's situation? Just bit, it, it, it <laughs> what do you what do you do for fun frozen. in that situation? You're just like, fuck, we're stuck here. Um, Stay at home. Yeah, exactly. Well, um I mean, yeah, was when I was growing up there were just basically two paths. Um like one path was to just get drunk constantly or just yeah. start taking hard yeah. drugs. You remember when it's very cold outside, you can go to the school? Yeah, and absolutely. It will be That's amazing. Yeah, sometimes for like a few months in a row, you don't go to school because it's too cold. They yes. got snow months, motherfucker. <laughs> we got snow days. They got snow year. <laughs> oh, it's snow year. No school Dude, this year. I would have played so much World of Warcraft. Holy <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Yeah. So the first the first path was to take drugs or drink a lot of vodka. And like, a lot yeah. of my classmates did that. Um, so we had a heroin epidemic because of that. And mm. second path was to just become bookworm. And I did that. Or Twitch, watching Twitch, which is a good segue. Marshall, want to pull that up? You had a video where you congratulated Simple and, and Navi, I believe, for their yeah um, for their Simple. victory. Simple is my friend. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Simple, for those of you who don't know, is is absolutely fucking cracked at uh, yeah. CS:GO, which is like uh, I think it's just like epigenetic uh, Eastern European yeah. uh, Slav thing. I don't know what it is, but it's just straight up. Everyone from that region, also Second Turkey, point. is just so good. Discord. Oh, it's this one from Discord. Pull up Discord. Real quick. Dude, oh, okay. there it is. So you had this to say. Let's take a look. Adult yeah. film star Eva Elfie congratulated. <laughs> Damn, you're giving free feet too. <laughs> Let the piggies breathe, you know. <laughs> yeah. So are you so you're you're friends with Simple? Mm -hmm. Um are you a fan in general of uh Twitch at all or no? Nope. I'm only watching it at Case Go and Dota Dwa, Dota Two. Yep. Oh, yeah. And um yep. We chat we chat on Instagram and uh, I know him girlfriend. She's from Russia, she's He's from Ukraine, and yeah. yeah. Um, I think we will see in Singapore in October in um, international. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Um, so you're not you're not a fan. What about you, Nadia? Are you are you, you don't watch any Twitch? Mm, a little bit of Hana. Except for except for my stream, of course she watches. <laughs> Your stream, Hana. This pretty much it. Um, oh, Hana? I like the Who's Hana? Hana. Um, she's a singer. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, love Billy Ray brains. <laughs> yeah, of course, he, he knows. Okay, he's, he's um, dancing to her stream right yeah. now. She's dope. I really recommend you. Um, they've done a song. We appreciate power with Grimes, so you might know her by that. Oh but yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Her music and it's really dope. Okay. Um, I like Twitch. I never have time to watch it. Yeah, I, feel like but I don't have time to. Yeah. 
But uh, I want to make a Twitch and play video games and uh, talking with my fans. It will be nice. Yeah, you're, there's a yeah. lot. You're a gamer, right? Yeah, but I love it. But you what know, what do you play? Uh, God of War, um, Last the Last of Us two and uh, the first and uh, uh, so, um, you know I like playing on the Switch because I'm traveling a lot and I missed my PlayStation. Yeah, and. Um, the last game, uh, it was um, like a girl in the head and uh, going on the boat and uh, taking people, uh, people and animals on the boat. So, 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 so. Animal Crossing? No, oh. no, no. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Girl on a boat. Is it a PlayStation game or a Switch game? Taking animals on a Spirit boat. Fire. Spirit, Spirit Fire. Spirit Fire. Spirit Fire? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. God damn. It's in the game. Do you oh. play Dota? You mentioned Dota. No. No, you just watch it? No. Yep. Okay. All right. I want to try to play... Um, That's the game? No, that no. is that is brand from League of Legends. <laughs> Spirit Fire or... Spitfire or Spirit Fire? Spirit Fire Spirit Switch? Fire. Can you type in that? Or indie game. Ah. Yeah, indie. Oh, Spirit Farer. Oh. I've never heard of this game before. Looks cute. Yeah. I'm about to it's play good. Digimon Survive. I'm a Digimon guy. I hate Digimon. Why? I fucking hate it. When I was a kid, yeah. for some weird reason, I, I don't know why I had so much brand loyalty to Pokemon. Yeah. But like when Digimon came around, I was like, what the fuck is this janky yeah, it's, it's, shit? Want to be like Pokemon? a Pepsi guy. You got to be like a no, country. Fuck that. I, I hate Pepsi too. Pepsi's With a passion. delicious. Pepsi's better than Coke. With your... It's delusional. sweeter. Delusional. It's a sweeter beverage. You literally have delusions right you now. Drink, you drink Coke Zero. Don't How? even act like a fucking No, a DC, this. baby. I'm a DC boy all day. Diet Coke. Oh, wow. Diet Coke all day, so every cool. day. Like when people say like, oh, we have Pepsi. Especially like <laughs> Diet Pepsi is so yeah. gross. I'm like, ugh. Just fucking give Do me water, dude. Hmm? Do you drink that shit? That shit. That shit. Coke? Uh, that shit. Diet Coke. Coke or Pepsi? Um, without sugar on the diet, yes. Without sugar, Coke. And that's wow, all. you're fascinating. Yeah, I, just, I love Diet I just Coke. Hate, I, hate I don't that. drink much. I prefer soda. water. But when I do, I yeah. prefer red wine. <laughs> True. Cool. Smart. Did you play a Death Stranding? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? It was, it was disappointment. Good. It was good. It was not, unfortunately, it's not, you know, Hideo's best work. I won't. Yeah. I won't be political. That game sucked. <laughs> I. 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 I played it right after I got a surgery, so I had like a week to just sit and play, yeah. and I was so ready for it. I was the biggest Metal Gear Solid fan. Yeah, in the we're, world. we're yeah. both huge. Yeah. Uh, Hideo I, Kojima fans. I was sick coronavirus one year ago, and I can't stop to play. I'm playing all the night, all the day. Yeah. Like I'm going to work, and I'm playing nine hours, ten hours. Yeah. yeah. I it's just, <laughs> I kept waiting for it to be more than it was. Yeah. No. I kept waiting for it to, like, the boss fights are one of the most disappointing, just lobbing grenades. Mm -hmm. Not gonna Yeah. Me. Yeah. Mechanically, it was, it was underwhelming for sure. And there was a lot of filler, which was surprising because I think Kojima is like known for jam packing and yeah. having Easter eggs in like every facet mm -hmm. of a video game. Have you was, ever played Metal Gear Solid 3? Snake Eater? Mm, nope. But I want to try. Oof. Greatest, Play one of the greatest games shit. of all time. Yeah. Play that All shit. the Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3 are probably the, the greatest, like, 3P, yeah. greatest, like, yeah. video game series of all time. Another one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He just did it. Four and I five, like or Diablo. even four and five, like, rides on the wave I like of it. Diablo, yeah. You like Diablo? Yeah, but I like I'm it. the biggest Diablo fan in the he world. He loves Diablo. Yeah. I love Diablo. I had my own Siberian experience because my parents didn't like when I was playing video games. So they put my computer above the garage in like <laughs> northern New Jersey. So in the winter, I would have like a, a blanket on and I would have like the heater and I'd have my feet in the heater and yeah. I'd be playing Diablo. And really I was dedicated. Be, oh, I was dedicated. One game uh, kill me, it's uh, Cuphead. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh. Very yeah, difficult. fuck. Yeah. Very difficult. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm not like super big into very mechanical games like that, I would say. Because like, I just, um, I don't have enough time to sweat it. Mm. Like to get really good but at you like from soft games, but I do. That's the only time I allow myself to like really indulge and yeah. really get good at a game. That's a single player game, especially because I love from software games. You, have you ever played like dark souls or, um, um I know, but no, 
Don't get Those started. Are, mm, that's so good. That's like going yeah. down the drug path. Ooh, in it's so you, fucking you good. You never though. come back from it. But yeah, my my story for Dota. I used to play Dota in Turkey, mm-hmm. and uh, we'd go to like you know internet cafes and like do land parties and whatnot. Um, and my parents in Turkey did not allow me to play video games on the internet because they thought like pedophiles will kidnap me or something. <laughs> Like, you know how parents are. They, like, see one news article, and they're like, oh, this is going to happen. This like is pedophiles a gateway drug, yeah. Yeah, pedophiles are going to kidnap this Remember kid. Remember when they saw that Pokemon destroys your brain? Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 And there, was a, there was another news story in Turkey. I don't know if you guys have anything similar in Russia, but um, there was, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, because of Pokemon, a kid jumped out of uh, a, a uh, like, a apartment building. Oh, mm. God. That was yeah. the meme. They They <laughs> said that, like, Kids are going to start jumping out of uh, apartment buildings because they think they're Bulbasaur. Mm. <laughs> Which is not even mm. a character that fucking that flies. That Pokemon can't even fly. He sure. doesn't yeah. fly, right? Yeah. I know. But that's that, was, but that doesn't matter. But like, what, like, what else? Like, I, I just, I'm just dying. So like, you first, you're a bad parent. And then you, um, you accuse video games or Pokemon for yeah. your kid jumping out of the building. I mean, yeah. like, did you try to talk to your kid? But... No, no. Suicide prevention? No, of course not. In the United States, absolutely not. No, yeah, in, in Turkey either. No, no, that was not happening. Are um, you playing on Overwatch or Fortnite? Uh, yeah, I played a lot of Overwatch when it first came out. I haven't played the new Overwatch mm-hmm. at all. No, I have not. It was, is it Overwatch Two is just Overwatch though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, one last question before we end the podcast. Sure. This has been a wonderful experience, and thank you guys been. so much it's for been coming. A wonderful podcast. Mm-hmm. Who is the, and you can totally say no to this if you don't want to answer. Who's the most famous but like weirdest uh, person who's slid into your DMs? What? Do you get a lot of that? Кто самый известный какой-то самый безумный experience с известным человеком, который пришел к тебе в твои DMs? You don't have to say it if you don't want to. Kim Jong Il. <laughs> Big fan. Um, Tiger. Tiger. Oh. <laughs> what did he, what was his move? He write me when I was in Siberia in Omsk and he write me you're in late and nope I'm in Russia. <laughs> it was so uh. sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. It was so sad, yeah. So you would you would have hung out with him? Yep. Yeah. Lana Rhodes, maybe we make her together a stream on Pornhub with Lana Rhodes, Angela White, uh, Lena Plug. Yep. That's an all star. Nice. That is a big, yeah, that's, a star studded yeah. cat. That's like the dream team. Adam right 22 there. is in the background, like, hey, what's up? My dick's, <laughs> my dick's involved, maybe, you know? Hey, look at that. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? I'm Dude, Adam 22. I, that shocked me when I saw Adam 22 doing porn. I didn't know he did porn, and I saw porn with him, and I was like, that guy looks like Adam 22. And I was like, that. Yeah, there's, he has and then very I saw the visible tattoo. Lisa Simpson yeah. on his head. I was like, that is Adam 22. Yeah. yeah. He was, which one was it? Was he getting double sucked by Lena and, uh, and, and Riley Reed? Listen. That's the one yeah. I saw. Listen, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's the one I saw, and I was like, it makes the most sense. <laughs> I saw that and immediately was like, of course he's doing porn. Yeah. That makes the most sense. Yeah. And um, Drew, you know Drew, it's electronic music, mm-hmm. and he's from, he's, I don't know, he living in LA right mm-hmm. now, and I love him music, and he write me on Instagram, like, let's make a movie together, like, uh, <laughs> no, not porn <laughs> movie, you know. <laughs> like, like Marriage Story with Adam Driver. <laughs> yeah, but I in the ha- background. I have, a new, I have a new song, and uh, I want to invite you to my movie. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, my gosh, I don't believe I love him, and he write me. Very um, cool. Yeah, it was nice. Very cool. What about you? Mm, it's not specific about D- uh, DMs on OnlyFans, right? Mm. Yeah, it's not. Um, no, it's just anywhere. Who's like the yeah? Who's like the most famous slash like weirdest interaction you've had <laughs> on on social media? Any of them? Well, I'm gonna be really contextual, but I I, <laughs> I think um, the the fact that I, I, that that moment when I realized that both Bernie Sanders and AOC follow me, mm. um, that was probably the biggest for me. But um, no. Bernie, yeah, you think Bernie was trying yeah. to slide? Yeah, <laughs> Nadia, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I am once again asking you to prepare my ass for six months. Yeah, I love, I loved what you said on the on the Fear and podcast about anal preparation. I mean, mm. he'd die. 
<laughs> he would die. That would be GG's for Bernie. But what a way to go. Yeah. Please peg me. I'm Bernie Sanders. What a final chapter yeah. to a great man's no, life. No, I meant like, I meant like uh, someone sliding into your DMs like a like, hey. slide. Yeah, no, like, I mean, like sliding in like terms this. of like, people don't normally Yeah, because women know when someone comes in like, <laughs> like this. Yeah. Like, talking about nothing. Oh, hey, Nadia, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really happen with me. Like people are Bullshit. scared of me. Yeah. That's crazy. No way. Yeah, that's crazy. really. That's a, yeah, that's what's up. I have a feeling <laughs> then that you don't realize people are trying to hit on you. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I do. Oh, do you yeah. think people are intimidated then? Mm, for the most part, yeah. Um, Has and, and anybody that, ever been arrested with you when they were trying to hook up with you? Um, it it did happen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no, I, I, my I man just mo- trying to get pegged, Bro, going honestly, straight to jail. No. He's getting pegged for real. In no, jail. Listen, listen, brother, we've all been there. Okay, sometimes you do things that are unspoken, yeah. unspeakable. Thank for, God he warmed no, you warmed know, his ass up for, for getting a prison. crumb. Wait, but okay. my favorite thing that a person did uh, to later yeah. have sex with me was sure. to. Well, you're not going to be happy about it, but they, we provided arms to Ukraine. Um, so mm. we raised seven million dollars. Wow! Oh, you like last time we talked about it, you were just not happy with the American government sending arms to Ukraine. So no, no, no. This is we more nuanced than that. seven million dollars to um, send um, various arms. He did that for the, for a crumb? You think he did that just to get laid? Um, that's what he admitted later. That's so oh funny. Oh my that's god! That's so funny for him to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come clean. I don't even know where Ukraine fucking is. Yeah. I couldn't find it on a map. I do not I don't know. care about this at all. I, I was, was just trying to get some. No, Seven me. million dollars of AK 47s yeah. later, worth it. Yeah. I mean, respect. Well, that was that's a beautiful note to end it on. Uh, that's the greatest. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Fe- fear and arms hurt. trafficking. Yeah. That's um, the name of this episode. Yeah. No, we can't do that. We're, we're This is not being monetized. Like, no shot. Susan. I'm sorry, Susan. Would Susan, we're sorry. Susan, we're sorry. Susan, we're sorry. Yeah, but uh, what a wonderful, what a wonderful episode too. We Is got some more bangers coming. You know, Who I knows? would probably supply arms to Ukraine for, the right, for some, for some. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good to know. Um, but awesome. uh, yeah. thanks again, I'll guys. Yeah. Where can people find you? Hmm? What are your social media? Is there anything you want to promote? Um, it's about TikTok and Instagram. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah. Boop, 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 pop up yeah. say that and uh, i have uh, youtube but only on russian it's like sex education for russian oh really yeah. very and cool and i have english sub- subs but if you want to try what's, you what's can the name of it eva elfi oh. <laughs> it's easy nadia uh my instagram nadia red that is um deeply shadow banned right now because uh Oh, you got hit with because the... Because of me actually supporting Ukraine uh, for, yeah. for posting Ukrainian flag and being just like, I, I, I hate what Russian army does in Ukraine and for posting some uh, bombings of buildings. So yeah. I'm super, super deeply shadow banned. I, I've, uh, I've, been, I've, I've gotten hit with that too for, uh, for saying that uh, Lauren Boebert, do you know who that is? No. Uh, uh, American congressperson mm. doing a, uh, a photo shoot with her children where they're all holding up weapons. Comparing that to ISIS child soldiers apparently was too far for Instagram. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The Al-Qaeda. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, I mean, like one day I'm not going to be shadow banned um, and you still can go follow me, Nadia Red, and um, Twitter would be nice as well. Um, it's Pussy Riot, but I have three R in the name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else? I mean, you cannot promote it here, but I do have OnlyFans. And um, I'm prepared. You can promote it here. Yeah. On the podcast, you can. Well, yeah. You can't also, do it on Twitch, but you can promote the hell yeah. out of it here. Great. So it's in my link tree. You can find my link tree yeah. everywhere. Okay. Cool. Figure out cool. if she can. And yeah. then and, we'll. And if you see a man in a bear costume, just know that's yeah. a sound It's not me. It's not <laughs> someone else. <laughs> Definitely not. It might look like me, but. Yeah. I'm prepared to merge with a logo like Make Love's Not War, but it was like one year ago. And. Uh, uh, we planned to open the, our sales on merch around um, February, like uh, when it starts a war, and it is bullshit because it's Russian. You can say war, you know, in social media. It was big problem, and I had uh, a T-shirt with "Make Love Not War." Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, I you thought that's word. Uh, yeah. yeah. You go to jail up to fifteen years for saying where. It's yeah. Jesus yeah. Right That's now, wild. time for realizes. Yeah, good. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you for coming <laughs> on, and uh, we'll see you next time, folks. Will you have any closing words, parting words for us? What an episode! Yeah.
What an yep. episode. What a wild journey we went on. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I mean, the the, the difference between my, the Minecraft episode and this episode is amazing. Alarming. We're giving yeah. you variety, but listen, if you enjoy this variety, if you enjoy what I what we do, please go follow all those links that these young women mentioned. Go support them. They were fantastic guests. Make sure you hit the bell, the subscribe, all that fucking accoutrement that goes with... <laughs> Streaming and social media and bullshit like that, and and RSS keep... feeds, right? We're gonna we're we're all over. Yeah, yeah, also, we're on audio platforms as well. What would you say if you heard that we were making a nearly nude calendar? Would you guys be I'd interested buy in buying it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, good. I'd cause... buy too. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> kind of like OnlyFans. Yeah. Stay dangerous. We'll see you next time. Bye.